Okay, we should be live. Looks like we got microphones working, video capture devices getting audio. Hey. <clears> hmm. <throat> so we're right before the start of the fight then? Hey, um, here and icons. It's under ah abilities. Here we go. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle around Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. This is Ifrit. Mission back while charging, inflicting multiple hits and forcing the enemy back can be used in mid air. X then square. How many points do I currently have? Three thousand or thirty six thousand four hundred and fifty. Uh, replace Clive's current weapon with Odin's blade. Landing abilities with the arm of darkness fills the Zanetsukin gauge. Old square to execute Zanetsukin. Summon the legendary spear gun gear and execute an extended flourish of deadly slices and strokes. Each hit landed fills the Zanetsukin gauge. Uh, <clears throat> surge forward and strike the enemy can be executed multiple times in succession if previous hits landed each hit landed fills the gauge rift slip used to recover immediately from an ability or action can be used in midair dancing steel from the second blade unleash a flurry of attacks each hit landed significantly fills the zanetsukin gauge Alright, this is Shiva. Slide effortlessly across the ground in any direction. Attacking with circle while sliding can temporarily freeze enemies. I'm sure that's not going to work on Omega. Like, the freezing part anyway. Uh, River of Icicles that greatly knocks back an enemy. It strikes. Hold button to increase potency. Launch multiple shards of ice that upon striking lighter enemies draw them forward. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, Colossal Ice Crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside it. <coughs> Diamond Dust. Summon Winter Storm that freezes enemies in place within a radius before dealing massive ice damage and knocking them back. Uh, Bahamut. We have nothing for yet. The in-casting Mega Flare, press circle once to execute. The length of the casting determines the potency of the spell. Uh, breathe forth Plume of Light Aspected Flame that deals continuous damage. Summon multiple spheres of light that upon striking an enemy deal continuous damage, binding it to the spot. Uh, aspected familiars that attack an enemy on which Clive uses magic. Fire a massive beam of overcharged light that burns any enemy it hits. They're the things I don't have from... So I have Wind Up, which I've mastered. Titan Block, which I've mastered. And Upheaval. My other options are Raging Fists, Potency of the Following Punches, Drive both hands in the ground, cause the land to surge upward, sending nearby enemies flying, Rama stuff, Ramu stuff. So gouge is what I use to finish the gauge. Deadly Embrace is the pull-in move. 
Wicked Wheel is one of the ones I just spam as like the follow up. Mastered Deadly Embrace, but I haven't mastered Gouge or Wicked Wheel. What are my other options? Rook's Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency is increased. Can be used in mid-air. This is her big finisher. Tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies and upon ensnaring them inflicts multiple hits. Phoenix Shift I have mastered. Rising Flame I have mastered. And Flames of Rebirth is the big finisher. Projectile Dispelling Wall of Liquid Flame. For launching several deadly shockwaves, wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. This is the main Clive plus free. I have to believe that if any of these are going to be super useful against Omega Weapon, it's either going to be Bahamut or Odin, since they're the two uh, latest game ones that you get. Place Clive's current weapon with Odin's blade. Landing abilities with the Arm of Darkness fills Zanatsukin. Hold square to execute Zanatsukin. So I have to do this one to enable Zanatsukin, and then the other ones charge the gauge faster. Learn, learn, so that's just increasing it in Dancing Steel. Significantly fills Zanatsukin gauge, so that's the big one. So, previous hit lands, each hit landed fills the gauge. So that's got to be the, um, is that the quick move? Deadly Embrace is up there. Phoenix Shift is up there, so this is the quick move. Arms of Darkness. Okay, so Arms of Darkness is the... So I don't have a dodge move or a block move, I just pull out Odin's sword. And have to fill the gauge. This is Anatsuken gauge. Steel. Surge forward, strike multiple enemies. So this is the big finisher one. And significantly fills Zanatsukin. I can try fighting Ultima Weapon a little bit more with my original build, but I don't think it's... Also, I'm kind of concerned that I don't actually have these two maxed out yet. But uh, I don't want to spend too many points because I forget how many points it actually costs to max anything out and I have 36,451 which will be an issue if I suddenly need more points and don't have them. Because this is 5,000 to upgrade. Oh, it's 5,000 to master. Okay, so... I should have enough then if it's 5,000. That's an upgrade though. This is an upgrade. This is just mastery though, so they have to be upgraded at least twice. And I have to spend just to learn this one. And Bahamuts, we have to learn that one at all. Upgrade, upgrade, oh, master that one. This is Wings of Light. 
Length of casting determines the potency of the spell. Wonder how long I can hold it for and like do things knock it out of me once I do that? Do I can I accidentally cancel it? It's only 750 to master though, so that's not terrible. Light aspect the continuous damage. Summon multiple light aspected familiars. Giga Flare is the big one. Press X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy, increasing jump height and duration. Okay, that explains why I never bothered with that one. Uh, taunt to pull them towards me. Burning blade. Hold square to imbue Clyde's blade with fire. Release to unleash a powerful attack. I never bothered with any of these. Slice downward. Swiftly close and attack distant enemies, and then the techniques. Hmm. Phoenix is mastered, Flames of Rebirth is mastered, Rising Flame is mastered, because I use them all the time. Mastered, mastered, and mastered, but I never bothered to master these, which is kind of odd, considering how often I use them. Especially the gouge to increase the stagger gauge I can also reset huh I can reset it does that give me my points back I'm going to guess yes so even if I don't like this I can fix it Alright. Hold those and then press the buttons. <sighs> Teleport. Alright. Alright, so this one changes. Alright, Omega, I'm back. I know it's been a while. Authorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing Iconoclastic Defense System Omega One. What the hell is an Iconoclastic Defense System? I have a feeling we're about to find out, and that we will not like the answer. There he is. Yeah, yeah, put your fancy crystal in storage. <clears throat> now it's in Tron's Core world. Containment. Complete. Authorizing environmental sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it... <laughs> if we want it... All we have to do is kill an icon. Safety routines disabled. Weapons armed. Stand clear. Hey! Oh, 
Delta attack, I don't have to dodge yet. Still having trouble with base form Omega, so not going to go too well when we switch over to real Omega. the cannons. Alright, not bad. Alright, hit him, hit him. This delta attack is not the attack. Delta attack, damn it. him down. First wave done. Ah! 
Alright. Is it over? Please tell me it's over. Come on, Clive, you know better. Data assessment. Complete. Recalculating threat level. Weapon routines authorized. Rerouting core power to Omega 1. Yep, here we go. <sighs> One more time, with feeling. And what makes you say that? <laughs> Those new arms, the one. Dodged one of them, got hit by the other one, and immediately died because I was low on health. Okay, that's fine. We beat stage one without having to heal, so... Come on, hold still, Omega. That's better. Nope. Nope. Ah. Here come the good moves now. Alright, let's get all that health back. Maximum overdrive. Alright, so it's really tired after maximum overdrive. I'm probably going to forget that by the next time it's relevant, but... Come on, Clive, drag him down. Ion flux. All right, this thing. Come 
Got him! Drag him down! Maximum overdrive again. Run in, because he's going to get tired. Ah. Oh, here comes the flux again. Ah, I got caught by the second one. Here comes another big thing. Ah, it's just Ion Flux again. Maximum overdrive. Get my health back. This thing. I get to the safe spot, which is here. Hey. Damn. It's okay, Omega. I know. You're mad, I'm rusty at this, you're still not winning outright. Oh, here comes this again. And we're doing that. Maximum overdrive. Oh right, we've got explosions to go with it now. Omega. Ah, too soon on that last one. 
And back to the center, because we're doing a thing. Another atomic ray. Hit him with this, because I got enough health missing. He's almost in break. Drag him down! Damn it. Got away. Ion flux again. beatable but insanely hard so we only start at the first checkpoint right oh no he's on fire okay right yeah this is stage two all right no feeling good if we forced him into this permanently then we might actually be able to beat him then Yeah, if he has to start where he's on fire already with the other move set, then... Yeah, there we go. Ah, let it go too soon. <laughs> Alright, maybe not if I mess up like that, but, you know... One into the other. Nope. I can't go on. Yep. Alright, I was messing up real bad there. I had the timing, like, horribly wrong for a bunch of different things. Hey. Right. But yeah, we're starting on the firearm, so this might actually be doable. Um, here. There it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I'm missing a bunch of health anyway, and I have iframes during this. Let's see how much this messes him up while he's doing that move. Drag him down. Nope. Yeah, we're gonna do this again. There it is. Ah, I didn't get out of it, though. Found this spot. Didn't get out of it fast enough. Alright. Now this is fine. <clears throat> now, before, I didn't feel like I could beat him, but... I think I've actually got enough of him. Like, he's still insanely hard, but... There we go. And world's on fire. We gotta get this timing down eventually. There we go. Yep, here comes the flux again. back to the middle for flux oh no atomic ray drag him down Atomic Ray, Aeon Flux. Flux it is.
That's enough health back. Maneuvers. All right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Those maneuvers were, in fact, pretty high. Considering I had a stone skin on and I barely survived it. Right. This is this form now. I got into the safe zone. We're doing this again. Oh, my limit break didn't deal nearly as much as I was hoping it would. Oh, we're doing this one again. Yep. him down. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Didn't mean to dodge into it, but okay. Come on. Just need to get him into break before this thing finishes. We'll be good.
Ah, uh, I pushed it too hard. I should have popped the elixir. <clears throat> hey. Does he start off on high speed maneuver now, or. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. So this might be as deep as I can get him. By just raw. Damn it. Really need to dodge those. this health back then. back to the middle now. Yeah, I'm burning through potions way too fast for this. Maximum overdrive. There he is. to the middle. Nope. 
too slow. Flux again. I'd already healed up all the damage, so that didn't actually do as much as I thought it was going to do. But I did spend all of my moves, so that's pretty neat. Hey, right, here comes high maneuvers. again. But with the extra thing, yep. comes high maneuver again. Some overdrive. On flux again. Drag him down. Overdrive. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah. Oh no, we're going for your break. I absolutely refuse on this one. Can he not be broken during this move? I don't think he can be broken. That ain't good. How you feeling, Omega? Yeah, ready for the final round? Fresh. I was gonna say, if this isn't active, kind of needs to be. Pulling out all the stops. Unable already in effect. Okay. Ow. Oh. Okay, they were charged. Alright, that has to have worn off by now. Oh no, still in effect. Okay. I will admit that was actually fun. Omega nodule. <laughs> Would suggest that any metal taken from the corpse of a centuries-old construct, metal that shudders and quakes like a slab of freshly cut swine's flesh, should be given a wide berth, if not a hefty heave into some nearby lagoon. That said, legendary weaponry is rarely the product of common sense. Used in crafting. 
That was literally everything I had. Alright. Feels good. Can't wait for Leviathan now. Omega control unit. Offline. <laughs> Initiating emergency core extraction. Would you care to do the honors, Clive? <clears throat> Badly. Yeah, if he didn't have checkpoints during the fight, I don't think my fighting style could have beaten him at all. Oh, no, 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 no. For what? I thought I told you to leave this place. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. Dude, I just killed Omega. You literally cannot stop me. These crystals, they're all we have. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe. One of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the twins. A nation without a mother crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The dust crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? I call crystals. These shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It's sucked from the land. As a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? Yeah, and I literally just killed Omega Weapon. But that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force till naught remains, naught but death. The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me. You're Sid. You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will, that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses? Your people's need will count for naught. Damn it. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way, then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. Error. Core not 
found. System failure. System failure. Did the right thing. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. We have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. However blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work... Give him the slip and lie low for a year or two. You're planning to run away? Again? What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like... Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be alright? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true... It's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. Besides, one man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but... fine. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I <laughs> said we've got places to be. <clears throat> Back to the hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway then. <laughs> Or Joshua. Omega, speak with Karen in the hideaway. Could I go back in if I wanted to? No. Okay. That's good because I need to resupply before I do anything else. I am kind of bereft here. Um... Alright, so can go to the left for a quick exit, looks like. And an item too. Doesn't matter what it is, I desperately need it. Unless it's like one of the crafting items. 
Nope, it's a potion. Oh. Hmm. Got turned around. Hey. So, this way and straight ahead. Into that giant rock. Giant, unyielding rock. Is this back towards Omega? This is back towards Omega. Okay. Oh, another free item. Hooray! Now I only have to buy almost every item I can possibly hold from Karen. Ooh, a more free potion for the road? On the road? Ooh, hey! Hey, we're out. <coughs> Excuse me, we're out. We're done. Oh great, I left the music playing. Yeah, this music's way too intense for what's going on here. Um... Okay, I think that's the regular hideaway music. Oh, hey Gav, how's it going? Did you know Omega was around here? Big heave ho, are ya? <sighs> but over time, first guy, yeah? so did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from or what it's uh, a long story and perhaps one better told in the shelves Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. <laughs> you can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen covered here, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it, as they did... Who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial art, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. 
But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Hey. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps, just perhaps, forge a brighter future for our descendants. Hey, Omega's done. Story's complete. Hey! Yep, there we go. <laughs> Fire Dusk Shard. All the nearby dust crystals shatter and fade. Oddly, those far removed from the tower, however, do not appear to have suffered the same fate, including a particularly suspect sample goats was gold into buying on a recent journey to port is sold it. Hey! Got a little trophy. It's a bronze trophy for defeating Omega. <sighs> ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up what you can. So, Okay. So he scrawled several bars of music on the title My Star. out. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Hey, Blackthorn. What's that for, you, dear? Omega Weapon. Pathetic bone, this relic of an age long forgotten shudders with the self same vital spirit that animated the Sage Spire's mightiest of sentinels. Well, it is stronger. And it uses up the sword that I'm already carrying. Hey. No scratches, all right. My reward is with me. And? Hey. Right here. Mega weapon, okay.
Hey. Hey. There's an item I never got for this. What didn't I do then? Dusk shard. Subtle reflection of mankind, fiery yet flawed, brilliant lit yet brittle, and its future clear yet clouded. How the crystal endures despite its mother having faded is perhaps a sign of hope for us all. I wonder if I had to do it on the harder level in order to get the last one. Like why it's not here. Hey. Oh, right, because Omega would have been on the thing now. Oh, nope. Is this the world map button, then? Hey. The thing is... Vegas Tower. Yeah, I don't know what thing I could have missed, so I'm going to guess that the last thing is for replaying the game on the higher difficulty level or something. Omega. And the Sage Spire. Or maybe it's for... Oh, that's true. I never did all of those, like, challenge slab things in the world. That's probably what it's for. For using the specific skills... What is it that you wish to learn? Of course. Spire and our forebearers folly. Oh, it gives me these guys. And the tower is a sentient thing.
Okay. Study it well, Clyde. dash over to Harpocrates and then we should be able to save and quit until whatchamacallit um Leviathan shows up good morrow to you my friend not what I meant. Safely. Sorry, wrong button. I went down one too many. When next you visit. Hmm. In short. What subject shall we consider today? Crystals. Prisoner.
and the best here. even noticed there was a first chapter for them. And Omega. Hey, so that's everything. You are always welcome, Clive. Hey, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching me bash my head against Omega until I broke him. I had fun. It's definitely a very intense fight. But yeah, that's all we've got, so that's going to do it for me. So, we'll save. I will see you next time. Good rest of your day.